Um, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I don't have my glasses on, I don't have my hair done or anything, but I am actually going to attempt my very first tutorial. So please excuse me if I'm a bit off. This is my very first um, tutorial. So I have everything laid out in front of me. Um, if you see me looking in this direction, that is because I have my um, Impressions Vanity um, mirror set up here just so that it can give me a little bit more lighting and I can actually do my makeup. So if I'm looking in this direction a little bit, that's why. Um, I am ordering a ring light so that I can have proper lighting, proper um, stand and everything to kind of start with my videos a little bit better. Um, when I do my makeup, I actually start with my eyes first. And today, in today's video, I'm actually going to um, use the Tarte, Tardius Pro Amazonian Clay Palette that we received in the Boxy Lux from um, BoxyCharm. Uh, I don't have anything to block it, but let's see, let's see. I'm gonna use my Cover FX a little bit to kind of block the, <gasps> no! I just stuck my finger into a shimmer, the shimmer shade here. Um, no, no, I actually tried this palette once. Um, just to kind of swatch it, just to kind of play a little bit. Um, I usually, I usually go for a very neutral kind of eye. Um, so first things first, don't mind me, I have my makeup bag here that I tend to kind of do my everyday makeup with. I'm going to actually use the Pretty Vulgar um, Eyeshadow Primer. That's what I'm going to do. And what I'd like to do is just take a little bit on the back of my hand um, I'm just gonna kind of chit chat a little bit with you guys um, get to know me a little bit better um, so that we can kind of join each other in this little family I'm gonna take just a this is it's an old brush this is one of the very first um, brushes sets of brushes that I actually bought myself I have eyeshadow on my finger now sorry I'm a little all over the place this is just a regular concealer brush um, and I'm just gonna kind of coat my brush really well and then I just kind of place it all over my lid like so I kind of use the brush to kind of place it um can't do my left hand sorry just like that I'll give me one moment and I'll be right back Sorry about that, my dog wanted in from outside. Um, so what I do is I just kind of do that, place it all over my lid, sometimes into my crease and my brow bone. Do not mind my eyebrows, they are not waxed. COVID has come in and kind of taken over a little bit, so I haven't done my eyebrows. So please do not mind them. And for this, my look today, I won't be doing my eyebrows only because this is my quick everyday kind of look. So I don't do my eyebrows every day simply because, I mean, COVID kind of came in. So no, sorry for the shaking at the table. Then since I have oily eyelids, I like to go with the setting powder. My current favorite powder is the Peach Perfect Powder from Too Faced. This is the one that I use a lot it um has a little sifter um, a lid to kind of keep it from falling all over the place it's my right now it's my favorite um powder and I like to set my eyelids only because I have very oily lids so if I put any kind of shadow shimmer matte whatever it is if I don't set it first it will crease and kind of move away and for that, I'm just using this e.l.f. pointed foundation brush. It has a nice point to the tip. I like this for my setting powder because not only I can get into my eyelid, but it kind of points my powder underneath my eyes. So just take a little bit of the powder, like so, and just kind of place it 
on my eyelid like that kind of baking my eyelid if you want to say that just kind of do that then let's sit for a minute while I do that I will um, like to kind of reintroduce myself I am Rosemary I am married and I have two children I have a two-year-old and a six-year-old um, I am new to the YouTube realm YouTubing is very anxious for me um, I'm not afraid of the I'm just gonna sweep this away I'm not afraid of the trolling I'm not afraid of the like hate comments I'm not afraid of any of that I'm just kind of doing this it's not for money obviously I only have five subscribers um it's not to be a career it's not to gain anything from it um it's just kind of trying to be a hobby of mine um I am I don't edit my videos so if you ever see one of my children popping in or out or if you hear the TV in the background, my dog walking, these kind of things, you're getting the raw material of my life. I'm trying to film a video, somebody's coming in and out, I have to pause it a hundred times, refilm my videos a few times, um, simply because it's my life, I'm a mom, and my kids don't really understand the whole concept of YouTube. My son does, because my son and my unboxing video was trying to whisper to me to make sure that I tell you guys to like and subscribe my videos. Um, I do appreciate all of my little subscribers that I have. Um, I do try to make videos. I do try to not only do unboxing, that's why I'm kind of doing this first, my first chit chat, um, kind of get ready type video. Um, I am nervous. I am very anxious about filming only because I do kind of stumble I kind of go everywhere kind of jump around um but that's me and if you do make it to the end of my videos and you do kind of like my videos want to see more of what I have to offer please like and subscribe leave a comment if you would like to see anything else what suggestions if you have any um positive advice or comments about how I can make it better please leave that below now to get back to my eye look, I am actually going to use the kind of bone shade, which is um, called Classic. On a, a lot of my brushes, I'm gonna let you know now, are have been with me, they have been my ride or die brushes. Yes, I do get brushes with BoxyCharm. Yes, I do have a couple of them here, but I kind of stick to what I've been using. So this is an e.l.f. blending eye brush. It is the white handle. You can get them at Target or Walmart for a dollar. This is how I started. This is where I'm staying true to what I know. Um, so after you get, I get my brush kind of nice and um, coated. I tap it off and I'm just going to kind of blend that from the outer corner of my eyelid. I mean my crease all the way over um, I do this is the way I do all of my looks I kind of start that way kind of bring it in all over the lid just is just to kind of put a base um, kind of shadow all over just to kind of get started I actually start with my eyes first only because if I use a shade or something that's gonna give some fallout um, when I'm doing my foundation or whatever I'm doing for my face, it kind of I can kind of brush that away easier. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Chic, which is this kind of brown tone. Um, kind of want to show you this shade right here. I'm gonna go with this one, which is the third one down in the row. Kind of pack my blending brush a bit, tap it off. Um, and I, same thing, I take it from the outer corner and I'm swirling it with windshield wiper motions to the inner, not all the way into my inner inner, but almost there. And I'm just going to kind of blend it 
in. I do have hooded eyes. So when I do my shadow, for me, I raise my eyebrows because then it kind of gives the shadow a little bit outside the crease. So when I close my eyes, you can still see some of my, my shadow. Um, what else, what else? As I do this, um, let's talk about some more of my hobbies. YouTube is not going to be or isn't the plan to be my only hobby. I do, obviously I have children, I'm gonna have more hobbies. Um, I love to bake and love to cook. So I'm thinking about maybe adding some of my recipes and my baking to my channel. Um, simply because I don't want it to just be all beauty. I don't want to just be tutorials, just unboxings. I kind of want to do more than that. Um, now I'm going to move down to Indie, the last kind of brownish shade here. It's a tad bit more darker. I like to layer my shadows so that they blend easier. This is my technique. I always lay my pinky finger on the, my cheekbone that's just kind of what I do. I kind of just have always done it that way. It kind of gives me a level to kind of place my shadow. So what other things do you guys like to do? Leave in the comment section below. Let's kind of get to know each other. Um, I just kind of want to know my subscribers a little bit better. Um, I do have my five lovely subscribers who have dedicated to liking my videos. I do very much appreciate it. Now I'm going up to the shade right here, which is called Innocent. Same, I haven't changed brushes, it's the same brush. This is how I always do my eyeshadow. Kind of place it in my crease, right along there. I'm gonna kind of do it this way. Now I have a nice, pretty decent, like everyday kind of like crease. Then I'm gonna take this Alamar blending brush. It's a nice, big, fluffy blending brush. And I'm just gonna kind of sweep that very, in like a swirling kind of windshield wiper motion, very lightly, just to kind of make sure that I have a pretty good blend. I have learned from watching all of the big YouTube stars, Patrick Star, and Jeffrey and Bretman, a lot of people, and I have always learned to blend. Blend, 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 blend to your heart's content to make sure that you have a perfect blend with your shadow. I hate, even now, knowing a little bit more than I do know, seeing people's eyeshadow that's kind of patchy here or patchy on the lid, no, 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 no. Not for me, not something that I would do. Now, because I am just that kind of basic person, I am just going to take just a tiny bit of Whimsy, which is just a kind of like a rosewood type of brownish, orangey, kind of rusty color. And I'm just going to lay a little bit of that in my crease, just very lightly just to kind of darken it up just a tiny bit. Um, only because I wanna go a tiny bit darker. And then I'm gonna take that Alamar um, blending brush and just kind of blend. This is how I, I kind of stick with a little bit of browns, kind of gold. Kind of tones for an everyday look then i'm just going to take a, another elf brush and this is the 
dome eyeshadow brush. It just has a quick, like a little dome kind of tip to it. And I'm gonna take the color Glam, which is this color here. And these um, shimmers are very soft and buttery and they do work well. And all I'm gonna do is lightly pack that on my lid. And you see the like it's amazing it's so pigmented that I don't need very much all I did was coat both sides of my brush I don't even have to wet it and just place it there and this is kind of how I do my look all the time but I'm just gonna take the brush that I used before. No extra product. And just kind of lay the brush kind of in my crease around the edges of where I put the shimmer. And that is gonna help me blend my shimmer and my crease shade. Now honestly, that is all I do for my eyes um, let me see I don't think I oh I do have any mascara today I'm gonna use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara um, I'm not gonna do eyeliner because I don't do eyeliner on a regular date regular basis and for the sake of my video I'm not gonna try to do top liner um, or bottom liner only because I don't do that every day um, when, maybe my next tutorial I will for the sake of the video. Um, I'm actually going to use the mirror from the palette to apply the mascara. I am very scared of mascara some days only because my lashes don't curl. Sorry, my lashes don't curl, so the mascara kind of helps a little bit. Hold on. Who else kind of holds their breath when they apply mascara? I only do a little bit of mascara. Only because I'm... I usually use one from Essence, which is a clear brow and um, la like mascara. And I like that for an everyday because it's not black. It just kind of wets your lashes, curls them up, and it's done. Now, I know this is going to be a very lengthy video, so please bear with me. Now for my face, what I like to do is I like to use the Tatcha um, Silk Canvas. This is the mini. Um, I have used quite a bit of it. And I actually use this little brush from BoxyCharm that I got in a um, BoxyCharm box. It is kind of flat and I just kind of Swirl it in my um, primer. I probably use way too much primer. I know that usually there's like a set amount of primer. Do what's best for you. This is what's good for me. So don't judge me. I usually do, like I do makeup on like my family members. No, I am not certified. So when I do decide I want to go to beauty school when one of my, well, when both of my kids are in school full time, then I kind of 
feel like I have um, some experience already um, with some makeup. Um, what I do is I'm gonna take the excess that's on my brush and kind of bring it down my neck simply because it is summertime and I want to be able to I want to be able to um, blend all the way down. Now, since I've gotten this, I'm going to use this Purelease BB Cream. It has SPS 30, and this is in the shade Light. I did receive this in my BoxyCharm. I am going to use this for an everyday kind of look, um, but I normally would use my Tarte Found Sealer. I love that foundation. I also have the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder that I like to use, and I am in the shade Y235. Um, but for today, I'm gonna go with this, and I am just going to kind of put some in the back of my hand. I might be putting too much. This is a BB cream. It does. You don't need a lot. And I'm actually going to use a wet beauty sponge. This is the beauty blender, just to kind of do this. I probably didn't need that much. It does look really, really, really light. Oh my hair. It does look super light. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I kind of rather it be too light or a shade lighter than be too dark. Because um, if it's too dark, it is too hard to lighten a um, foundation BB cream. Um, it's harder to lighten it up if it is too dark. Now it is summertime, so this would normally be my normal shade. However, I am gonna blend it down my neck. I have learned never to um, neglect your neck. So I'm bringing it all the way around. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and set my entire face with the Tarte Amazonian Clay um, Foundation Powder. This is going to add a little bit more um, darkness around and is going to help set this face. Now for that, I normally would use the big boy, the big brush um, from BoxyCharm. I don't even know if this is the foundation brush or a powder brush or whatever it is. I, I'm gonna use the medium one. And this foundation has a little like sponge, the sifter, and you just kind of press it down. Ooh, got a little too much, a little too crazy. Then I'm just going to kind of press it in. This might be not the best brush for it, but I am just going to kind of press it in. I promise you in person, it does not look this light. It's probably the lighting um, that I have. I am actually just using regular, my house dining room light, and then I have the impressions and vanity um, little mirror. It's not the big mirror. I am at a regular table. Um, however, this is what works for me. I'm just going to kind of set all of me, my entire face, with this powder. However, I am not, as you see, I'm not swirling the powder. I am pressing it in. That way, whatever is not 
um, dry on my face, on my neck, I'm going to swirl it. But whatever isn't dry on my face, I don't want to um, move. I don't want to feel like I'm moving too much of the BB cream. BB cream is not supposed to be full coverage. It's just supposed to give a little bit of um, something to the skin. That's pretty much what I did. It's nice and even. I do have a couple little freckles that do come through, which is okay for me because it's not meant to be full coverage. It's not meant to um, cover everything. Now for bronzer, I don't bronze all the time, but for the sake of the video, I will. I normally go for the Hoola bronzer or the Cover FX um, base palette. I will go for the contour shade. Um, I even use these as eyeshadows, the highlighters, the blush. Oh, sorry guys, I kind of gotten taken out of my video. Um, I'm gonna try to figure out how to mash the two videos together. I did a whole eye look, my face, and I got a call that came through and wiped it out. So to finish my face, well, to get back into it, I used the Pearly BB Cream and the Tatcha Primer. And then I set my face with the Tarte Amazonian Clay Powder Foundation. I used the Tardiest Pro on my eyes and the Better Than Sex Mascara. I am now going to bronze up my skin with the Hoola Bronzer. And I'm actually just going to use this kind of angled brush. This is from the Disney Maleficent brush set that I got from Disney. Um, it just has a little angle. I just kind of dip it in, brush it off, and just go. I do like um, Hoola. Um, I feel like it gives just a... I kind of like... Well, I like this one and I like the light, the Hula Light, because I am so fair. But sometimes I, I can see it there already. This is kind of like my go to. I kind of go at an angle, kind of just kind of brush it up. Makeup is a one size fits all. However, do it how you want to do it, contour how you want to contour. Um, do you I do a little bit on the forehead not a ton so I don't want my whole forehead and my cheekbones and everything then I'm gonna go in with where are you, where are you? Oh. I'm gonna go in with the Tarte um, Amazonian clay um, blush in party and I'm going to use a little blush brush from the same Maleficent um, collection. And I just, I like these blushes. I'm not big on blush. I'm not big on a ton, a ton of makeup. So these actually work really well. I feel like they're nice and buildable. And add just a little, I'm sure if you could see it, just a little pop of color. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the brush and I'm just gonna kind of blend it into my my um, bronzer just a little bit. Take my bronzer brush and just kind of swirl with no extra product. And that is actually how um, I bronze and blush myself for a highlighter um i am not like huge 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 on highlighter um i'm actually just going to use the one from the cover fx and i'm going to actually use the more champagne -y tone which is the one in this corner here and let me get my highlighter brush and once again i'm going to be using are you another elf brush these brushes have been my where are you excuse me one second I have my brushes here 
And this brush is the small tapered brush. And I use this for highlighting. And I'm just gonna kind of swirl it just a little bit because I don't like a ton of highlighter. And just kind of place some here. Just like that. And I kind of just kind of lightly kind of do it and then kind of brush it down to kind of blend it into my blend it into my blush a little bit on the nose bridge call it a day now for lip my favorite lip is the beauty bakery um their lip whip gloss this is a snickerdoodle as you see it's like missing a lot like this is my favorite gloss I love the doe foot applicator. I feel like the little like indention in the middle holds enough gloss. It's my favorite gloss ever. And I actually started pairing it with the, oh, sorry, Pouty um, Lip Pencil by Beauty o Bodyography. These two together I really like. Um, but today I'm just gonna do the gloss. And I actually love the formula. This is my favorite 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 gloss and I feel like it's the perfect nude it smells really good I have purchased this twice already um it's not sticky it's not too glossy um Great pigmentation, love it. Then to set everything, I like to go in, well, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Matte Finishing Spray. I normally would go in with my um, Morphe spray. This is the one that I have with me right now. And that's all. Um, then I take my Beauty Blender and just kind of press the setting spray in and that way you don't get um, the little drops from the spray bottle um, setting on your face um, and that is my look um, if you want to see more tutorials if you want to see more videos please like and subscribe to my channel join my family if not that's okay thank you for stopping by and watching this video in full till next time have a great day have a great night um leave in the comment section below a what's your favorite makeup product so far in 2020 thank you and good night